we're going to do a quick recap of multiplying out things of the form x minus a, x plus a. So let's start with something simple, x minus 3 times x plus 3. Remember, I've got to use the distributive law, so everything in this bracket must multiply with everything in that bracket. x times x gives me x squared. And then I need to do x times 3, and I'm going to get plus 3x. Then I have to do negative 3 times x, and that's going to give me negative 3x. And then I've got to do negative 3 times 3, and that'll give me negative 9. And what happens is that I'm going to have plus 3x minus 3x, so those are going to disappear, and I'll just be left with x squared minus 9. Okay, you try the next one quickly for yourself. Pause the video and do it now. So hopefully this is what you got. And again, you have the situation where you've got plus 5x minus 5x, so those terms with x just disappear, and you're left with x squared minus 25. And then, pretty soon after working with this pattern, you don't even actually need to go through the steps, because if you're presented with something like x minus 4, x plus 4, you know that what you're going to say is x squared, and then the minus 4x and plus 4x will disappear with each other, and so 4 squared is 16, so it'll be x squared minus 16. And this is why we end up calling something like this a difference of two squares, because what you end up with is x squared, and then you've got 3 squared, so you get 9, and then you subtract them, it's a difference. x squared, 5 squared, and subtracting. And this pattern means that even if it looks revolting, it's actually really easy to do. If we've got this, where we've got the same thing here, the only thing that's different is this has got a minus and this is a plus, we're going, to have a, we're going to get out a difference of two squares. So the first term is going to be 2x squared, and it's a difference, so minus, and then our last term will be 3y squared, and this 2x squared, 2 times 2 is 4, x times x is x squared, 3 times 3 is 9, y times y is y squared. And we don't have any other term because the minus 3y 2x will disappear with the plus 3y 2x.